Hi Aquarius, my air sign Aquarius. What is up? What is good with y'all? Welcome and welcome back to the channel, you guys. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video and tuning in. If this video has found you, there's some messages here for you. So take the messages that do resonate with you guys and leave the rest for another Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North Node. This is going to be your general love reading for September 15, 2024. If you are new to the channel and you've never been here before, this is Queen of Wands, uh, 11, 11, nah. here to do y'all love reading. And if you are a returning subscriber, mwah, mwah, mwah. welcome back, y'all. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video, tuning in, and joining me. So uh, we're going to get into y'all love reading and see what the universe wants you guys to know when it comes to love, when it comes to your love life. Take the messages that may resonate with you and leave the rest. If it does not resonate or make sense with you now, this is a prediction read for what's to come in the near future. So keep that in mind. This reading is timeless. So whenever you're drawn to this reading is when you're meant to see it. So let's get into this masculine or divine masculine's unspoken thoughts about you. Masculine, divine masculine, this is what you could be wanting to tell a feminine that you have not said to a feminine as of yet. What's this that try to flip? It says, I used you as an option. Now I'm afraid you won't want me back. So this person um, had other options. You know, they had other people that they were talking to, dealing with. They used you as an option. I feel like they didn't see this relationship as something serious at first. You know, they played games with you. And now they're afraid that you won't want them back because of how they treated you. You know what I'm saying? It says, I get so shy being around you, I never know what to say. So you make this person shy. This person is always blushing around you, smiling around you. They never know what to say around you, okay? You make them a little nervous too. Let's see, what is this masculine's thoughts and feelings for you that they have not said to you yet? It says, can you ever trust me again? So this person is stressing out because they know that they messed up with you. Okay. They know they uh, sabotaged this connection, whatever they did. They know it wasn't working out between the two of you because of the ups and downs, the ins and the outs. And they want to know if you can ever trust them again. Because I feel like this person has broken the trust with you. Okay. And they feel like you may never trust them again. But they just want to know if you can, if you will, if you will ever trust them ever again in your life. At the bottom of the deck, it says, you made me into a better man. Okay, so you've changed this person's life. You made them into a better man. You made them into a better person. And I feel like they want to tell you that. It says, I hope you still kept the photos I sent you. Okay, so this person hopes that you didn't delete the photos that they sent you. They hope that you still like look in your phone and scroll and see their pictures and look at their pictures. All right, they're wanting to know if you still have these pictures that they sent you. Some of y'all do, some of y'all don't. Okay, let's see. What else do they want to say to you? It says, when I'm with her, I can't help but have you on my mind. This person is using another person as a rebound, whether this is a, a, a female, or same sex, whatever. They're using this person as a rebound, okay? Because they can't stop thinking about you even when they're with this other person. They're not into this other person like they are you. They're not being serious with this other person. I feel like they still want you, Okay, they still think about you. It says, you caught my eye when we first met. So out of all the options that they did have, you caught their eye. But I feel like they still used you as an option. They still kept their options open. They still were searching for the next best thing while they were with you. But they were very attracted to you when they saw you um, when you guys met. Whether this is online or y'all met face to face while you were traveling. Okay, um... You caught their attention. It says, I'm not ready to talk yet. I'm still upset over what happened. So you guys are not ready to talk to this person yet because you're still upset over what happened. And the masculine, they may know this, that you're not ready to talk to them yet. Okay. 
It says, I think I'm ready to take this to the next level. I just wasn't ready before. This person wasn't ready for you before, but they're ready now. It says, I never wanted it to be over with us. You always showed me unconditional love. Yeah. So this person knows that your love that you showed them was genuine and pure. And they're really bothered about that because they know they're not going to find that anywhere else anytime soon. And they never wanted it to be over between the two of you. Okay. They never wanted it to be over. They love the love that you showed them. They knew it was unconditional, not conditional. All right, let's see what other messages uh, this person has to say to you. And then we're going to get some more messages from another deck. It says, never change who you are because you are one of a kind. So, yeah, this person knows that you're one of a kind. And they don't want you to change who you are because of what happened between the two of you. They want you to stay the same. Which I do feel like this person may have changed you. Um, you may have went through a transformation dealing with this person, but as far as like your loving, caring, giving side, your empathy, they don't want you to change that. It says, I always got your back. So you always had this person's back. Okay. No matter what. Okay. They still want you to have this big heart. It says, you always have my heart. You still have this person's heart and they feel like you will always have their heart. No matter who they deal with, you will always be the one that they want. It says, thinking about hitting you up. Sorry, I've been so distant. So this person has been distant from you, this masculine. And they're thinking about sending you a message. They're thinking about hitting you up. They're sorry they have been so distant. I feel like this person may have been going through some things in their life um, that you didn't know about. There could have been some things hidden behind the scenes that you didn't know about. And they could have been distant because they've been trying to... Do some introspection and reflecting on what has happened here between the two of you. It says you are so mysterious to me. Okay. It says trying to figure out a way to get back to you. They're trying to figure out a way to get back to you, to manifest you, to get your forgiveness, to, you know, try to convince you that they've changed or get you to fall in love with them again, try to get back in your life again. If you guys do come into contact and start talking to each other, the karmic is going to know y'all been keeping in contact. So if you start talking to this person, their karmic is going to know. <clears throat> it says, have you found someone new looking you up on social media? So this person is searching for you on social media because you haven't been speaking. You've been distant yourself. And they're trying to figure out like, why you have not been talking to them and i feel like it's because you're still upset um divine feminine you know you're not ready to talk to them yet um and they're not quite understanding that this person has been distant from you as well so i feel like it has been no contact but since the no contact has happened you know they're wondering if you found someone new okay it says, I can look into your eyes all day. You are so beautiful. This person is mesmerized by you. They could be having their friends, like, keep an eye on you for them. You know, so they can get the scoop, so they can get the tea, so they can find out more information. Let me get one more. It says, you know how to turn me on when you get out of the shower. I feel like as soon as you get out the shower, they want to do it. They want to get down and, and dirty. Like, as soon as you get out the shower. Because you turn them on. You may be coming out smelling good or oiled up. You know, it's just something about... Your energy that turns them on. Whether you're in or out the shower. You know, especially when you get out the shower. You have a little towel on. Or your undergarments like a bra and some nice sexy um, lace or see-through panties. You know, there's just something about your body, your, your energy that they really, really love. Especially when you get out of the shower. <clears throat> 
Okay. It says, I want to treat you like the queen you are. So they know you're a queen and they want to treat you like that, like the queen that you are. Okay. But they want to know if you still love them, if you still think about them, if you still have their pictures, if you can forgive them. Let's get some messages here and see what the universe wants you guys to know when it comes to love, when it comes to your love life. <clears throat> yeah, you see this person as a player because they had multiple options. They was dealing with uh, you and other people, talking to other people. This person is charming, but you see them as somebody who's manipulative. You feel like this person may not be your soulmate anymore. You may feel like this person has turned into a karmic. And I feel like this person is being tested. They're going through a storm warning right now. Okay. I feel like this person is a complete wrecking ball. Okay. They get on your nerves when they're in this player energy. They give you a headache. But I also feel like you feel like this person being a player and being with you while they're in this player energy is causing an obstacle in your life. Okay. There could be an obstacle in their life. There's an upheaval in their life too. I feel like upheavals follow them wherever they go. This person may be having drama around them or they brought a lot of drama into your life here. Okay, yeah, there's travel in your energy. So some of you could be going on a vacation, a getaway, taking some time off, you know, or there's just distance between you and this person who is going through a storm in their life right now. Like they're going through a lot in their life right now. And y'all could be far apart from one another. Okay. Y'all could be like in different cities, different states here for some of you. <clears throat> Tell me more about this situation. Spirit guides, angels, ancestors. What do you want Aquarius to know when it comes to love? When it comes to their love life? Tell me more. Snake. So you see this person as deceptive, shady, a shady individual because they were deceptive towards you. They caused some sort of deception in your life. That's why you had to distance yourself from them. They're a shady individual. And I feel like um, you don't trust this person. You don't trust this person, okay? They may even fall into temptation, you guys may have lived together or y'all lived in the same neighborhood, the same block, the same city, the same state. They may have done some shady shit to you in your own home for a small portion of you. But I feel like this person feels like you're like home to them. Okay, they feel a, a sense of comfort, safety. You know, I feel like this person has been a snake towards you and you provided them shelter. You let this person live with you. Some of y'all, this person met your family. You met their family. You may have went to their hometown and met their family. Some of y'all may have met their children if they have children or you have kids with this person. Fear. Okay, so somebody has some fear. They're afraid, uneasy, suspicion, scared of something. Yeah, they could be scared that some information is coming out in a tarot reading. Or they're scared of your intuition because you're psychic. You're very intuitive. So they're afraid of your spiritual gifts here. Okay, that's not going to resonate for everybody. Yeah. Yeah. They're watching readings on you and they have anxiety over what's coming out in these readings. They're stressed. They're depressed. Some of you, they have panic attacks or they just haven't been sleeping. I feel like this person is listening to their intuition as well about you. Liquid courage. They may drink. Some of you, they may drink occasionally. Some of you, this person could be getting intoxicated. This person could be getting drunk. I feel like they're trying to find the bravery and the confidence to do something. 
or they feel they feel more brave and confident when they get drunk <laughs> that's not gonna resonate for everybody yeah they're trying to find the bravery and the courage to come and reconcile with you they want to get back together this person misses you they want to have a reunion they want a second chance yeah it's the ex-lover it's the ex but they could be at a crossroads because y'all broke up they may feel like you're not interested you're indecisive yeah this is somebody you walked away from it says ending separation is over. So they had a crossroads because they feel like you see this relationship as over. They still have romantic feelings for you. Now this uh, reading, the energy can be vice versa. So this could be you, how you're feeling towards somebody. But they still have emotions for you. And I feel like they're ready to take a chance, take a risk. They want a relationship with you because they feel like it was faded. And I do feel like they had an epiphany. Or a spiritual awakening about you. Yeah. They had a, a epiphany about you and them. They've been enlightened. They're having a spiritual awakening about why they having money problems. And it's because they ghosted you. They changed on you. Yeah. So... They're realizing why their money has been moving slow, why they have money problems, why they can't manifest um, a certain level of financial abundance here. They're realizing that. Okay, let's get some more messages and then we're going to jump into Tarot. You guys like, share, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn your post notifications on. If you would like to book a private personal reading with me, my information, my email will be on the screen and in the description box down below. Put your inquiry in if you would like to book a private personal reading. It is on sale. I do have a special for September, you guys. Yeah, you right now you're single as fuck, feeling freedom. You could be dating people on and off. You may have felt like this person wanted you but didn't need you. Okay. Yeah, I feel like your relationship was short term. This person was wishy-washy towards you, unstable. There was an unstable foundation, and this relationship was temporary. Okay, it didn't last long. All right. Yeah, the most high, your angels and your ancestors are protecting you. I feel like you could be doubling up on your protection through prayer and meditation. Okay, the universe wants you to go cleanse your energy as well. Okay. Yeah. It says, I like you, going with the flow, flirting heavy. Let's see how it goes. I don't know. I feel like this is somebody else. Some of y'all may be in the entertainment or the music industry. Or well, this person is. It could be both of you, for some of you. But um, I feel like that's somebody else. Tell me more. Yeah, I feel like you had a situationship with this person. This person that was wishy-washy towards you. It says, let's keep it a secret, sneaky link, going nowhere. Okay? Or they could be in a situationship right now where they're keeping this situationship that they have with somebody else a secret. This could be a sneaky link that they're dealing with. And it's really not getting anywhere with these two. Okay? It's not getting anywhere with them. Yeah. This person, they keep repeating cycles here over and over again. They keep doing the same thing over and over again. Okay. There's a big red flag here in this person's energy. They have addictions to sex, drugs, or a toxic lifestyle. This person has not taken accountability. And they need to take accountability for their actions here. Okay. 
Yeah, you may have family issues with this person. Y'all could be co-parenting. There could be some child support going on, drama and conflict. Or they have like a baby mama, baby daddy where um, there's drama there, conflict. They could be co-parenting with their baby mama or baby daddy. They could be family issues with like their mother, their father. It says, I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. Can we talk? They regret their decisions. Okay. And I feel like they want to change their behavior because their behavior has changed towards you. It's like the person you fell in love with is not the person that they turned out to be once they took their mask off. Okay. You felt like you didn't fall in love with that person. You felt like you fell in love with somebody else. Their representative is who you fell in love with. But they feel like your behavior has changed. Yeah, they changed their behavior. They had negative energy towards you. Negative, negative vibration. This person had weird intentions. They were being weird. Envious as fuck. And I feel like their mission has failed. Okay, whatever they try to do, their mission has definitely failed. All right, let's get like three more and then we're going to get some tarot. It says, I just want to fuck. They had this negative energy where they just wanted to fuck. It says Netflix and chill, bend over, get on top, physical benefits. So you feel like this person only wanted sex from you or this is how somebody feels about you. Okay. Um, you feel like this person just wanted the physical benefits of you and not want to be in a serious relationship with you. Okay. You feel like all they wanted to do is fuck, 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 fuck. And that was it. Um, it says investigation. I'm watching you. They need more info about you. They feel like you hiding something. Okay. They trying to look you up on social media. They just being nosy, trying to be all up in your business. That's, that's what it is because they want to know if you moved on, like we already said in the beginning and they just being nosy. They just want to see like who you dealing with, what this person may look like, or, you know, if you happy without them, you know, they just want some more information. Something about this person's mental health is affecting them, like seriously, okay? They have adult or childhood trauma, or their childhood trauma has followed them as an adult. They may not have healed from this yet. This person needs to go to therapy. I feel like they're trying to stay strong. And I also feel like if this person, which they do have mental health issues, um has some sort of severe mental health issues while they was with you. You was trying to stay strong for this person. <clears throat> All right, let's get some tarot, you guys, and see what the universe wants you guys to know. For Aquarius, male or female. There's no gender specific in tarot, okay? So just because I post a thumbnail with a female on it, that does not mean it's only for females, all right? So keep that in mind. It's just a thumbnail, <laughs> but this is not gender-based, okay? I'm not discriminating. Everybody is welcome, except for little-ass kids. Little kids, you, you're not supposed to be watching. This is not for kids, okay? That's the only people that cannot watch my reads. Because I say some things in these reads that kids are not supposed to hear. Aquarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, North No. Let's see what the universe has for you. Let's see what the universe wants you guys to know when it comes to love, when it comes to your love life. For September 15th, 2024. Can y'all believe Halloween is like right around the corner? King of Swords, I'm um, sorry. Damn, Queen of Swords. <laughs> wow. <clears throat> Excuse me. Y'all setting y'all boundaries. Y'all not playing no games with this person. 
I feel like if this person wants to talk to you, you would allow them to give you more clarity when you feel like speaking to them. But I feel like right now you're cutting this person off. Some of you may be the four says. So you may have divorced this person. They want a new start with you. They want a new beginning with you. Okay, Taurus Virgo Capricorn energy with the Ace of Pentacles. But you got new love here. You got a new love who wants something serious with you. Cancer Pisces Scorpio. But I feel like this past person still has deep love and deep emotions for you. I feel like with, with this Nine of Pentacles Virgo energy, you're just focused on your independence. You're looking good. You're feeling good. You're smelling good. You're single. You're in love with yourself. I feel like there is somebody here who wants to make you a serious love offer. Or this could be a past person coming back in a new energy. Okay, yeah, they're coming out of hermit mode. So they're going to come back. Yeah, they're going to return to you more Virgo energy. Okay, um, this person may not be like a homebody. They may be the type of person to get out a lot, go out a lot. They may be in the streets a lot. I feel like this person has not done the inner healing, the inner work that they need to be doing with this hermit in the reverse. They haven't done like the shadow work. They haven't done any introspection, reflecting, soul searching. They haven't done that. Okay. Yeah. Four of swords. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. I feel like you're not speaking to this person. Yeah, y'all had a verbal falling out with the five of swords. You put something to rest here. I feel like this person is thinking about you. They think about the mind games, the head games that they played with you. They're thinking about the deception, the manipulation. They're thinking about how they was being a player with you, in and out of your life, being fickle with their energy, not knowing what they want when it comes to you, being hot then cold. And you're like, no, with the two of swords. You're like, no, you're not going to keep coming in and out of my life. You're not going to be hot and cold with me no more. I feel like you're blocking this person. I feel like you're taking some sort of action to block this person. Yeah, because I feel like this person was also indecisive towards you. Or this was you. Yeah, this person was just closed off and blocked off towards you. Not making a decision about you. If you want to know if this person has changed their player ways, um, they haven't made a decision yet. With the Knight of Wands and the Two of Swords. I feel like their answer could be a damn no. But they haven't changed their ways because I feel like they still indecisive about what they want. But they're also stressed out and I feel like it stresses you out too. That this person is indecisive and they don't know what they want. They can't make up their mind about you, about what they want with, with you. I feel like they're stressed out because they feel like everything that they're going through is a nightmare. Okay? You blocking them is their worst nightmare because I feel like they don't want you to block them out of your life. And this person is like staying up all night. They're losing sleep. They're losing hair. They're losing weight. They're worried. You know, they feel guilty. Their guilty conscience is setting in. Yeah, they're really stressed out because you ended things with them. Scorpio energy. There's a lot of air energy in here. Heavy on the Gemini, Libra, and all Aquarius. They're stressed out because they know that you try to change their life. I feel like this person also is stressed out while you were with them, while y'all was connected before this breakup happened, before this ending. I feel like they felt stressed out because they felt like you was trying to change them. Okay? But this change was necessary anyway. I feel like your ancestors is here too. They're not allowing this person to get no sleep. <laughs> That's what I see here with the death and the nine of swords. They're not allowing this person to get no sleep. They keep messing with their guilty conscience. Yeah. Yeah, you had to distance yourself from this person with the six of swords. More air energy. I feel like um, you travel away from this person. Well, you just knew like you had to end it and move away from this person 
you had to move away to a place of peace and calmer waters. And I feel like you're sleeping good at night. I feel like you're getting a lot of rest. You're sleeping, healing, recuperating, rejuvenating your thoughts here. Uh, if you have any crystals, you're recharging your crystals or you may need to recharge your crystals. Um, you guys could be meditating. If not, you may need to meditate. Yeah. Yeah. I feel like you still have love for this person, you know, but I also feel like somebody else is coming towards you that you may fall in love with. You're very intuitive. Some of you are empaths. You could be a single mom. This person from your past wants to apologize to you. But be careful. Yeah, eight of wands and a knight of cups. Be careful with that energy. They're going to tell you everything you want to hear. This person's going to love bomb the shit out of you. Could be blowing up your phone, sending you hella messages here. Okay, long paragraphs of messages for some of you. They're going to apologize to you. Tell you how much they love you. How much they miss you. But I feel like they're going to love bomb you. <laughs> yeah, I feel like... They want to put in the work and the effort. They want to be more consistent. They, With the Eight of Pentacles, they do want this relationship to work. Could be an Aquarius or a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn with that Eight of Pentacles. They still have hope and faith that you two can heal things, mend things, work things out. Because they want to offer you like a relationship, commitment, marriage. How do you feel about this situation, Aquarius? How do you feel? How does Aquarius feel about this? They want to heal this connection with you. But you know what I'm getting? I'm getting that this person needs to work on themselves and heal themselves first before they come towards you. Because I feel like they're going to be moving real fast. They're not going to want to slow down this time. I feel like you want to start dating again. I feel like you want to be in a relationship. Page of Cups. This could be somebody new. That you want. Yeah, you want long term. Ten of Pentacles. Stability. You want a committed relationship with somebody. Yeah, you're making a final judgment call. You're manifesting whatever this is. I feel like how you feel right now is you happy, you celebrating or you're being celebrated because I feel like you're getting a new home, you moved, you're remodeling, redecorating here, or you could be dating someone else and this is a twin, okay, this is a twin flame. I feel like y'all may talk about moving in together or um, like getting engaged, you may be engaged to somebody now and you're happy. Yeah, you have a lot of options. A lot of people want you. Somebody is stuck on you too. Yeah, even though this person wants to reconcile with you and um come back home or be in a relationship with you, this past person, I feel like they still have their options open. Yeah, this person falls for the illusion or confusion that's being brought into their life. And I feel like they try to bring smoke and mirrors into your life, cause you confusion and illusions as well. Yeah. They're gonna rush in towards you with the Knight of Swords. Yeah, they're gonna rush in towards you with some news or a message to try to start a um, brand new beginning or have a new start with you. But I feel like this may turn into a heated discussion or an argument because this person gives you the bare minimum. They give you they give you the bare minimum. Okay. There's a lot going on with this person behind the scenes with the moon that you do not know about. And I feel like they're in their feelings because they're waiting on you with the three of wands. They're waiting. They're waiting for you to drop your guard. They're waiting for you like to reach back out to them. 
Don't be so quick to pick up this person's call or answer their text messages. Because I feel like there is something being hidden from you. And you could be waiting to hear what that is. Mm -hmm. There's something being hidden from you. There's a secret that this person is keeping from you. This person is at a distance from you. They're secretly waiting for something too. But I feel like they got a secret. And with the page of the page of pentacles and the moon, I feel like for a small portion of you, you gonna get a message about this secret that's being hidden from you. I feel like you've been waiting on this. Somebody's going to give you a message about a secret that's been hidden from you. Because there's more. There's like a, there's more secrets that this person has. And I feel like you just don't know where you stand with this person. You don't have no clarity when it comes to this person. I mean, I know you're getting clarity now. Like you're being clear about what you want. Especially when it comes to your love life. And what you don't want. But this person confuses you. It's like you don't know what's going on with them or why they do the things that they do. Hmm. Aquarius, I'm going to do another love reading for you later on today. But right now, those are your messages, Aquarius. I hope you guys enjoyed the reading. If you did, like, share, comment, and subscribe. If you have not subscribed to the channel already, let me know if you got confirmation, clarity, or if this hit home for you. Let me know if it resonates with you. Turn your post notifications on to all. So every time I post a reading, you guys will be notified. And if you want to book a private personal reading with me, make sure that you contact me through my email that's the only way you can reach out to me through queen of wands 11 11 tarot at gmail.com it's going to be right here on the screen all right i love you guys so so much thank you for all the love all the support the likes shares comments and subscribes thank y'all so much for sticking around i really do appreciate y'all and until next time bye aquarius and I will see y'all in the next reading. Bye.